Hello, survivors of the wasteland, my friends. Is I follow? No, that was actually my own name. <laughs> no, wait, I am saying it right. Follow Survivor Damien. I mixed it up. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, <laughs> awkward intro. We are here investigating the one of the next side quests. So, as I said, we will complete them. We completed the main story of. Lying low at Lowy or lying low, and right now we have two side quests best of intentions and dragon terror. So we're doing best of intentions. A note in Van Low taxidermy referred to sightings of unnatural white creatures near the Thomas Farm. I should check the place out. So Thomas Farm is right here in this area right between Dent and Sons Construction and the Federal Disposal Field HZ21 bit of reference uh, near Vault 96 anyway um, I never knew this place existed since I never been to this part before but we're about to find out this ticks I bet it see me I think it saw me yeah it saw me Ugh. Anyway, um, let's go. Oh my god, that is a that is a lot of uh, that that is a lot of uh, albino rat stags. Really, is a lot. Alright, let's hope if we can get here without causing any noise or getting ourselves kicked in the nuts. Interesting, there's a lab up here. What is this? A glowing jar? Winston Cure number three for Intravious Applications. Interesting. A cure for what though? Cure? So we have a periodical table of elements here. Mr. Thomas Terminal. Reminder, chemical drum labels. Note to self, replace the worn labels on the drums. Don't want to end up spraying the wrong stuff somewhere. Got it. Aerosolizer maintenance. Refill the aerolyzer today. A good amount of residue builds up at the bottom of the tank. Note to self, collect residue samples. Analyze any imperfections with my formula. Testing kits in the house. What was that? Is there a player here? Doesn't seem like it. Journals. Something's not right. I woke up at dawn, like I usually do, to get a head start on the sun. It's usual for a couple of deer to find their way into the field, but these weren't looking right. Their hides were filled with lesions, and they were bleach white. I tried scaring them off, like I usually do, and one of them charged me. The deer didn't do too much damage. The crops are fine. I'm doing... I'm going to wrap things up and head back up to the house. See how Winston's doing this morning. The deer... Oh gosh, he saw me. Ah. It's back. Second guy, say it won't let me do my work. This one's dead though, and this one's not. What? What happened out here? There's like a couple of them that are dead. Anyway, let's keep reading here. 
It's so weird. Journal. Promise. Finally, some good news. I was starting to get discouraged after test 1 and 2 showed zero positive effects. Started feeling really bad about sticking Winston with needles for no reason. A cure number 3 shows promise. The old boy actually the old boy actually walked the road with me today for the first time in months. Maybe this will be the one. But who's um who's Winston? Diagnosis. Go back. Go back from Winston. Oh, Winston's a pet. Winston's vet appointment today. The diagnosis is on the end table. I just can't accept that Winston's been my best bud since Mary passed. If they don't have a cure, then I'll make one myself. I got a Voltec University chemistry degree. Make my farm successful because I know the science of it all. I'm gonna do all I can to help him. So he was a Voltec University stu student in chemicals. Interesting. That's a clue. No. What happened to all these rat stags? Why are they suddenly dead? Oh, look at that! <laughs> Did some unknown force just pass by and murder them? Oh god, wait, this was a- Oh, there was a legendary? Gosh dang it, I missed out. Oh, I feel pissed off. Relocation note. If anyone comes looking for me, I've taken Winston out to our hunting cabin. I don't think he's gonna make it. And that's his favorite place, so I figured he should spend his last days there. Veterinary diagnosis sheet. Patient information. Name Winston. Breed pointer. Age 13 years. Admitting diagnosis symptoms, weight loss, lack of appetite, loss of stamina, procedures, physical exam, blood test, and diagnosis, large cell lymphoma. Recommend follow up at Appalachia Veterinary Spe Specialty Center to discuss treatment. Dr. Signature A.C. Olson. Okay. Chemical testing kits. Okay. Search your clues at Thomas Farm. Collect the chemicals on the aerolyzer. Ah. Collect sample. This looks like a standard aerolyzer used on many farms. Upon further inspection, you find chemical residue in the tank. Okay. Let's go inside. Actually, what's this? Chemical barrel. Glyphs on us. 55 gallons for aerosol use only. Hmm, interesting. Mr. Thomas. Analyze sample. Analyzing. 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 Analy analysis complete. Substance contains compound that suggests pharma... pharmacological... pharma... pharmacological or pharma applications. Presence of antibiotics and antiparasitic agents suggests possible veterinary medication. Okay. Learn the truth about the albino creatures. So we're gonna learn the truth about the albino creatures? Where is that at? Is there a location? Oh, it's over here. Alright, let's teleport to the East Mountain Lookout. So we're so wait, we're about to learn the mystery of the albino. I, I didn't know the albino creatures were a mystery. I really thought they were just normal creatures.
Give me a second. Okay, so... Oh, damn, those cr like, the, the, those creaking noises are just so creepy. So the hunting cabin is somewhere along here. This better not hurt. So here's the ca so here's the cabin. We'll check. I saw something there. We'll check that in a second. Confession note. I'm a damn I'm a damn fool, and I just made things worse. When Winston's uh, drugs weren't working, I thought I should put them in the Arizona Arizona. So he'd get exposed to the medicine all day long. Instead, all I did was cause the deer to mutate into something unnatural. I'm sorry to those deers. It didn't do nothing wrong. I had the best of intentions. I swear it. But all I did was make a mess of things. Now I don't want to go back to that farm and see the monsters I created. Heck, without Winston, I don't see the point of going on at all. So he... Wait... So he created the albino creatures? So the reason albino is because oh there he is. Silver locket. Albino mongrel. So that okay, so the reason there's albino creatures in Fallout is because this guy's aerosol his medicine worked, but it mutated them. Oh my gosh, that is that is actually insane. That that's insane. I'm actually blown away. I mean, the fact that Bethesda is making us is actually making us discover why there are albino creatures in Fallout 76 and their origins is amazing. I mean, I I never guessed there was a story behind them. I just always thought there was naturally albino creatures, but no, they're not actually normal. They were a result of. <laughs> Of, of good intentions that accidentally went wrong. But damn, I feel sorry for the poor guy and this dog. Well, at least they both died together when the bombs fell. Wait, what is that? Is that a nuke bomb? Oh, it is. I guess people were fighting the Scorch Queen. Well, guys, thanks for joining me on this wonderful adventure again. And it is night time, and we better rest up inside this cabin. So before I go off, I will sit down here and just look at you guys as the camera just winks away. So thank you guys for sticking with me on this adventure. We will come back with another Fallout 76 adventure. We still have three more side quests left. So thanks for watching, and as always, follow me if you want. And also follow me on Twitter if you want to talk. Sayonara.